The key to understanding QuickBooks Online accounts payable. Hey everyone, this is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University. Wanted to show you this video on understanding accounts payable in QuickBooks Online. I think a lot of people get confused, uh, especially when they see a balance sheet. And I'll walk through an example here in a minute of what, what accounts payable is, how it goes up and down, uh, and how it affects things in QuickBooks. So let's take a look here. We are in the Craig's Design and Landscape and Services uh, QuickBooks Online sample company file, which anyone really can access. Uh, you can Google QuickBooks Online sample company file and get straight into this so you can practice with it before you even buy it. Okay, so first things first, what I'm gonna do, I am gonna go to reports because I'm gonna show you where this shows up on a balance sheet. So a balance sheet is basically, you see here, all the assets, so everything a company owns, and then all the liabilities and equity, okay? Liabilities are just what the company owes, so you have what they own, what they owe, and then equity is the difference between the two. Kind of like a house, your house is worth something, you may have a mortgage on it, and the difference between the two is your equity. Same thing in a company, except it gets a little bit confusing because you have all these different accounts. All right, so accounts payable, right here. It says it's a current liability, accounts payable, 160267 for this sample company file. And what this represents are items that are due within the next 12 months, okay? Bills in general that are due within the next 12 months. You will see there's a separate category in QuickBooks for credit cards. We're not gonna get into that in this video, but you will see accounts payable, current liabilities. It's always the first one listed and it is it represents money you owe to vendors uh, other bills that you get in the business that are due within the next 30 days now the only time you're going to have anything in this accounts payable account is if you use the enter and pay bills function in quickbooks all right so let's go up here to new and we're going to go to bill all right so when it says bill that just means you are entering an accounts payable so QuickBooks Online makes it easy for you to kind of understand, you know, bill. Yes, it's a bill. It doesn't call it accounts payable, which would be confusing for a lot of people. So let's go in. We're going to choose, uh, let's say, chins, gas, and oil. Uh, we'll say the terms net 10, bill date 115, due date 12 or 125. Uh, we'll put in a bill number, which if you have seen my other videos, you know how important that is to put in the bill number. Uh, we're going to classify the account. Uh, let's say this was just like a fuel account. We'll say automobile fuel, and we'll say that this is $750, okay? And this is not billable to a customer, and we will not associate a customer with that, okay? So we are going to save and close. Then I'm going to take you back to the balance sheet here as of January 15th. And you're going to see now accounts payable has increased by that amount. So if I double click this to see the detail, you're going to see that this 115 2023, the bill we just entered, increases accounts payable. So now let's go back to the balance sheet so I can show you. Okay, so just remember this 2352.67. Then if we go to uh, pay bills right here. And let's say that we go pay Chin's gas and oil, $750 on 115, 2023. Uh, we're going to use the checking account. And we are going to, we'll leave it as a starting check number. And we are going to save and close. So now we pay that bill and you see that it's down to 1602.67. So again, when you click on this, you're going to see this register. This is the accounts payable register. You're going to see it increasing and then decreasing. All right. So very, very important to understand that on the accrual basis, when you have an accounts payable, that is an expense to the company, even if you have not paid it. On a cash basis, it is only an expense when you actually pay the bill. So entering a bill will do nothing for cash basis, but paying the bill will create a deduction an expense for you. All right. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Hopefully this gave you a little bit better understanding of the QuickBooks Online accounts payable function, and I will see you in the next video.